Hello again. I have another package here and this one is from Irene who is I think it serious serious least scrapping I think it is. Um, and Irene has sent some banners and I think she may have also sent uh, some prize winnings. I won a little giveaway that she was having on her on her channel. So let's have a little look. Oh isn't that beautiful card? Isn't that lovely a tulip? Ah, dear Jeanette, I hope my parcel finds you well. I wanted to wish you a big happy belated birthday. I trust you were pampered on your special day. Thank you for hosting this lovely challenge and getting me crafting again after a dry spell. I have included your little prize winnings and a little birthday present from my Zibbit store. I hope you like the trims I picked. I think they are gorgeous. Thank you for the opportunity. Lots of love, Irene. Yes, seriously scrapping on YouTube. And she does have a, is it Zibbit? I think it is Zibbit. A Zibbit store as well. Um, where she sells lovely little trims and um, crafting things. So, and I will put a link to Irene's channel and um, yes I'll put a link to her store below as well okay so that's my winnings so I will put that aside and that's that's a little birthday present and that's sweet and we have I hear bells we have banners one and two and a little extra Where did you get pink? Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Look at the pretty pink. I saw you go nuts. <laughs> I saw you go nuts for this in a rack. I thought I'd share some of you. Oh, that is so kind of you. I do. I love this stuff and it never gets old with me. I love the pink. I don't have any pink. Isn't that sweet of her? Oh, thank you so very much for that. That's beautiful. Thank you, Irene. Oh, pink. I haven't seen it in pink. And these are Irene's banners. They're slightly different. And I actually really like how she's done these. Um, she's done them on a base. And there's her details on the back. She's got a base of, like, um, cotton fabric and then she has a layer of tulle fabric and then she has another patterned fabric and this one has a gold thread running through it and then lastly she has a very like soft tulle right on the top and this one's a thicker tulle than this one and when I first saw it, I thought, what a lovely idea. I thought it was wonderful how she did that. And how pretty is this? So in either corner, she has some seam binding to time them all together. And then she has layer upon layer of lace. And I think a lot of these things are actually from her Zibbit store. This um, particular one at the top with the gold thread going th through it. Gee, that's really pretty, isn't it? That is definitely from her store. And this one could be like a off cut of a doily. And then there's another crochet trim under here with these gorgeous little demontes, which I think are from Hester also. How pretty is that? And then we have some a layer of lace. Actually, we have two different layers of lace that she's laid upon them, and then she's cut them with scissors. I do recall her saying that. Um, to give it a nice shabby effect and I just I love the bells how Christmassy are bells and you know they are one thing I tend to overlook at Christmas but don't they make it jolly <laughs> and they're really unusual bells too aren't they they look quite old I like those bells so that's um, Irene's first banner it's so pretty isn't it I love all those layers and this is the second one and once again we have the crochet trim, uh, I think off a doily, 
or something across the top there and then the second trim you can see it better on this one underneath and then she has some half back pearls on each of those and I'm not sure if she sells those ones or not and then we have the two layers of lace that she's chopped up and on this one she's put the layer of tulle there and then she's put the embellishment underneath that and she has like this snowflake applique which is so very pretty um, also I think from her store I've got some of those and a lovely bling centerpiece as well how beautiful Irene I really do like this layered look I think that's such a great idea and they do look beautiful and I do appreciate you joining in the challenge aren't they lovely both of them are absolutely lovely thank you so much for those Irene really beautiful banners very jolly <laughs> Love the bells, love the bells. Uh, okay, so I'll do my winnings in here as well. And um, I just have to remember, I think it was, I'm not quite sure if it was for, she it used to have a store on Etsy and then she moved it over to Zibbit and that could have been the purpose for the video. And you had to just go and... Um, pick a thing from each page on her store and say what you liked on that page and um, if your name was drawn from the hat you won and I was just fortunate enough to win thank you so much for that oh aren't they lovely so she's um, got quite a few new things in her store since I was there last and this is one of them that I noticed and they're really lovely they're metal leaves Aren't they nice? That's the underside of it. They're very thin. They're like the filigree ones, but of course these are, are solid. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they're lovely, Irene. Thank you. And there's, there's five of those. I think you get five in a pack. And these are the lovely Calla Lilies. I used these on um, one of my DT projects. And they worked really well. They were in pink and these ones are in white. They're just like little foam calla lilies. They're lovely. Thank you. And of course the beautiful sequins. Love that colour. Absolutely gorgeous colour that is. Thank you so much for that. And the snowflake appliques like she used on her banner. Ever so pretty. And they do look like snowflakes, don't they? Ever so pretty. There we go. Very pretty little appliques they are. And lastly there was this lovely cotton trim. Um, which I have had before. In fact, I used, where did I use that? I used it on my little butterfly box as soon as I got it <laughs> and it turned out really really pretty so. and there we go it's a very pretty little cotton trim that one very pretty thank you for those winnings it's always lovely to win something isn't it I think that's the second time I've won something um, since being on YouTube, not that I actually enter a lot of um, those kinds of competitions. Um, but that was lovely. It was a lovely surprise to wake up to when I found out. And this one is Happy Mail and Birthday Prezies from my Zibbit store. Okay, well this is very sweet of you. Oh wow, how lovely are you? Oh, so that is, that's the little centerpiece that she had on the banner. And they do come from her store, obviously. They're really pretty, aren't they? Thank you for that, Irene. Anything that sparkles is wonderful, isn't it? 
yes yeah, so I'm no longer on Etsy mm -hmm. on Zibit so this is make sure there's no address I'm getting terrible at that and I need to this is Irene's card and like I said I'll put a link to that below as well no harming and giving someone a little plug is there okay oh aren't these nice little teapots I think I've got little love hearts like this and I think I got them from Irene too how lovely are they little teapot and it's like they're covered in fabric on one side and they're plain on the other side they're really lovely aren't they thank you Irene and then the birds they're so pretty Oh, they're the same. They have fabric on one side. And they still have all the details on the wooden side as well. They're really lovely. Thank you so much. An ideal size for like little um, tags and things like that. Oh, look at these. Oh, aren't they tiny? I've, um... I've had violins, I've used violins on Christmas projects before, but they were bigger than these ones. These are really sweet, they're like a little hole. Um, I could almost use them on charms and things as well. These look lovely with a little whitewash over the top as well, and they do come in handy for Christmas time. Well, I, I don't know, for some reason I associate them with them. Um, Christmas for some reason but they're beautiful thank you so much for those Irene they're really lovely and they're little birds <laughs> they're so tiny look at those tiny little birds they're, oh gosh it's a bit hard to see on my hand isn't it um tiny little bird and that's the other side it might be easier to see on that side <laughs> are they birds or I think they are gosh I hope I'm not wrong I think they are okay I'm pretending they are because I'm thinking they could look like a cat sat down too <laughs> thank you Irene and some little crocheted flowers. Now you did say these were from your store, so I'm gathering. Although I shouldn't gather. I'm not sure if you made them or not, but aren't they pretty? Lovely little, it's got like three layers to it. Dimensional crocheted flower. Very pretty. Thank you. And then we have some fabric. Isn't that lovely? That's um, an embroidery on glaze. Is it a trim or a feather? Oh, it's quite wide, isn't it? Quite wide. It is, and that's in a lovely white colour, but that's as, almost as big as my hand, so, you know, that's, um, that's quite a wide trim it's lovely isn't it I can see that on pillowcases actually it's beautiful thank you so much oh, that's that gold one you used on your um, banner as well we have some pink crochet trim how lovely is that I'm not even sure if I have any pink that's really beautiful. Thank you so much. This lovely crochet trim here, it's got the gold thread running through the center of it. It's very effective. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm trying to work out which is the right and wrong side, I think. Might go that way. It's really pretty, isn't it? 
And it looks lovely on the banner, so um, go very nice with vintage style things. And this lovely one here. Isn't that pretty? It's got um little tassel trim along the bottom of it as well. That's very nice. I could almost picture that on some sort of a, a handbag or something. It's lovely, thank you. And it's all very nicely packaged as well. Now that's an unusual one, isn't it? That is an unusual one. Oh, look at that. How unusual is that? I haven't seen that. It's got like a khaki colour at the bottom of it with a, a scalloped like edging. It's very different, isn't it? Thank you. And then lastly we have this lovely pearl beading that you can never ever have too much of and this is in an ivory colour. Thank you so very much for that Irene. It was very sweet of you to send um, those extra gifts for my birthday. I really do appreciate that and as a little rack that's very kind of you and let's find your lovely banners and have another look at them. We'll just pop that there so we don't get too distracted by everything. And here we go. Irene's beautiful banners once again. And these are all fabric. There's no card or paper on these ones. So there we go. Thank you so much Irene and thank you everybody for stopping by and watching today. Bye bye.